number one Iron Age booty daddy. A massive announcement in the world of tabletop RPG. The fan favorite Critical Role, who has been widely regarded as one of the best places to go watch Dungeons and Dragons played for many years now, hosted by Matt Mercer. They decided they would come out and drop the news today that they're releasing three brand new games for people in the future from their publishing company. Now, one of the games is a tabletop RPG meant for long form play, right? So you can have these very, very long, fantastic adventures sitting down at the RPG table. Now, Dungeons and Dragons for the last many years has been getting more and more popular, kind of going into a second renaissance thanks to things like Critical Role and Stranger Things on Netflix. But recently, Dungeons and Dragons has been in a little bit of a hot seat because of the announcement of the latest OGL that they were trying, well, one of the latest OGLs that they were trying to get through. You see, it seemed like what was once a fantastically creative company that just wanted players to enjoy the game that they were doing, uh, that company decided they were going to go in a little bit of a different direction and essentially poach off of people's creativity. Now, you can go back and you can read all about the OGL and exactly what it proposed to the community at large. Now, since then, Dungeons & Dragons has been making many, many decisions, and they have, in fact, been on the decline over the last few years for a lot of the decisions they've been making. You know, most recently, one of the things that I covered here on this channel was the fact that Dungeons & Dragons uh, decided that they wanted to essentially get rid of half-orc and half-elf species because they're no longer races in the game, because they believe that half inherently meant that the word was racist in and of itself. So they decided to use somewhat politically divisive language in order to change the game mechanics of their game. So Dungeons & Dragons, who has seems to be rolling a nat one on just about every decision they've been making, at least for half of the party that's enjoying their game, uh, is going to take another blow. As Critical Role has decided to come out and release games to essentially compete with the company that they worked hand-in-hand -hand with for many years. In fact, Dungeons & Dragons and Critical Role, when talking about the two, they're almost synonymous with each other. But as of today, you start to see the fork in the road. As Dungeons & Dragons has made the decisions around more of the political talking points over the past few years, it would seem that many fans are somewhat tired of it. Many people want a game that they're not inundated with the politics of the real world. They don't want real world things brought into the game. And so often we see many articles coming out lately that Dungeons & Dragons is putting this stuff in. Now with the announcement of the OGL... Uh, a while back, or the new, o the updated OGL, I think it was OGL 2.0, I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, I apologize, a lot of different things that I, 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 I cover, I have covered since then, but with the announcement of the OGL that essentially eviscerated the fandom, and caused a lot of people to go to Pathfinder, a lot of people to try to look for other tabletop RPGs, even from smaller creators, and some of those smaller creators I have shouted out and covered on this channel, it would seem that Critical Role has decided that they can see the writing on the wall. And although the OGL that Dungeons Dragon wanted to propose didn't get through because of the massive backlash, Critical Role, with their critical success... All right, it was a bad joke. But with their success, have decided that if Dungeons & Dragons is, is going to go down the path of trying to poach creativity from people and in addition to that trying to take money from other people who are simply playing their game online and making massive successes well critical role is parting ways now a lot of people would say oh well this is the obvious path that critical role would take they were they're a very massive brand at this point they absolutely uh were probably working on this uh in the past and i don't disagree However, I would say that because they even came out and weren't too happy about the OGL, uh, it was a smaller, those stories weren't as large. 
But I think that they have decided to expedite the process of creating their own games in order to get away from a company so that way they can maintain their own success. Whereas the stories obviously told are from Matt Mercer and the characters that are created and uh, and brought to life are from the fantastic voice cast over there on Critical Role, Dungeons and Dragons would say, no, those are an exclusive property. Even though you came up with the character, you came up with the backstory, you came up with all of it, you just so happen to be using the framework that we built. And so thusly, because you're simply using the style of gameplay that we developed, your characters, your story, everything is owned by us and we are going to take the money. I personally believe that this is why Critical Role is making the decision that they're making to develop their own games and to chart their own course from here on out. And forever, this will be known as the point where the massive, massively successful Critical Role has decided to separate from Dungeons and Dragons. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I believe that this is something Critical Role was always going to do. However, I believe it was expedited by some of the shenanigans that uh, Wizards of the Coast and Dungeons and Dragons has uh, been uh, been going over for the last few years. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And never forget, I dedicate a special live stream to you every single Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's where I go and I read all the comments to all the videos that I do on my channel and the live streams. So if you guys would like to have your comment read on a live stream and get to react to my reaction and tell me I'm right or I'm wrong or just come in the chat and make fun of me, I would absolutely love if you would subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and like this video. And don't forget to catch me at 11 a.m. Central every single Sunday for Sunday Coffee. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.